Hello, this is Alex on Pongo Techno Valley Weekly News. Here's the news from the fourth week of July. Hanwha Aerospace starts aerospace business backed up by a solid performance. Hanwha Aerospace, the intermediate holding company of Hanwha Group's defense industry and aviation business, is continuing its high growth. The company's status within the group is also improving every day with a solid performance and a focus on fostering the group's aerospace venture which is a new growth engine of the group. According to the securities industry on July 12th, Hanwha Aerospace is expected to record 1.3 trillion won in sales and 80 billion won in operating profits on a consolidated basis in the second quarter of this year. Hanwha Aerospace entered the aerospace business in full force early this year by acquiring the satellite company Satrek Initiative. Satrek Initiative is the only company in Korea that can directly develop and manufacture key components related to satellites such as satellite bodies, terrestrial systems, and electro-optic payloads. Last March, the group launched Space Hub, the control tower that brings together the group's space business capabilities. Kim Dong-gwan, the oldest son of Kim seung yeon CEO of Hanhua Group, is the leader of this project. In the Space Hub project, Hanhua Aerospace engineers who participated in the development of the Korean launcher Nudi and scientists from Hanhua Systems, Hanwha Corporation, and Satrek Initiative are participating. In May, it established the Space Research Center with KAIST to begin the development of Inter-Satellite Link. It is also studying projectile technology, satellite attitude control, observation technology, and space energy technology. Next up, Organoid Bowel Disease Regenerative Medicine published in Biomaterials. Organoid Science announced on July 13th that a thesis containing the non-clinical results of the efficacy of radiation proctitis treatment using intestinal organoid regenerative therapy was published in the online edition of the International Academic Journal Biomaterials on May 29th. Radiation proctitis is an inflammatory bowel disease that occurs in the colon or rectum due to damage to organs in the pelvis from treating bladder cancer, rectal cancer, prostate cancer, and cervical cancer. Organoid science has established a technology for developing intestinal organoid-based regenerative therapy to treat radiation-induced intestinal problems at the source. Also in collaboration with the Department of Radiation Oncology at Cha University Budong Medical Center, a mouse model of radiation proctitis was made and efficacy was verified. According to the thesis, intestinal stem cells isolated from mouse intestinal tissues are differentiated into intestinal tissues while maintaining stem cell characteristics using organoid culture technology. In transplanting and engrafting the cells in the damaged intestines of mice directly stimulates the differentiation and regeneration. In the thesis, not only was the efficacy demonstrated, but also the core technology for clinical application was established by developing an endoscopically guided transplantation method, a support for transplantation method, and cryopreservation method. The potential usage for other inflammatory bowel diseases such as ulcerative enteritis and Crohn's disease in the future adds to the excitement of the future of these technologies and methods. For the next story, Krafton invests 51.5 billion won in Indian web novel platform Pratilipi. Krafton announced on July 14th that it had invested a total of 45 million dollars, about 51.5 billion won in Pratilipi, the largest web novel platform in India. In the Series D round of Pratilipi, Krafton was the lead investor. The company in total brought in about 48 million US dollars or 55 billion won. Ranjit Pratap Singh, CEO of Pratilipi, social venture company Omidyar Network, and other Indian startup founders also participated in the investment. According to Krafton, Pratilipi is India's largest web novel platform with 30 million monthly active users and 370,000 writers. It is offered in 12 Indian languages, and recently, in addition to web novels, it has been collaborating with companies to provide various types of content, such as general books, animations, and TV series. Also, the service range is being expanded by launching Pratilipi FM and Pratilipi Comics. Including this investment in Pratilipi, Krafton has invested a total of 70 million US dollars or 80.2 billion won 
in Indian IT companies this year. For our last big story, Gyeonggi-do Smart Mobility Demonstration Hub selected as MOIS's Outstanding Regional Balance New Deal project. Gyeonggi-do announced on July 15th that the Smart Mobility Demonstration Hub 